I recently made a fish tank using bamboo for my axolotl. I even built a cave for her to sleep in. Do you think she's going to like it? Let's find out. I always start with substrate in my tanks because it provides essential nutrients for plant growth. This will help our bamboo grow. Topping it off with white sand will give our tank a crisp and clean look. It's important to remember that you shouldn't use sand unless your axolotl is larger than three to four inches in length. This is because it can cause impaction. My axolotl Lucy has grown up so fast. It's recommended that axolotls have at least a 20 gallon tank, so it's definitely time to upgrade Lucy. Here I am giving her bloodworms, but it's important to feed a varied, nutritious diet. I knew I wanted to add another cave into Lucy's tank since she loved her first one. Caves provide a comforting place for axolotls to hide and sleep. I use this food safe basket, slate rock, and fish safe silicone to build the cave. My goal is to make it look as natural as possible. Don't forget to allow 24 hours for the silicone to cure. This is important to keep your axolotl safe. I chose to place the cave in the corner of her tank so she has plenty of room to swim. Time to start planting the bamboo. Bamboo is great in cold water fish tanks, which make it a perfect fit for axolotls since they require water temperature between 60 and 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Bamboo also has several practical purposes. It is an efficient cleaner for your tank and will quickly soak up nitrates and other chemicals. Let's add some finishing touches to the tank. A few pieces of siri stone on top and dotted around the entrance of the cave will help create that natural look that we're going for. One question I often get is why do I spray the tank down before filling it up? While there are a couple of reasons I do this, it's primarily to prevent the plants from drying out while I prepare to fill the tank. The tank is looking good and coming together nicely. It's time to fill it up. The key to a clear fill is to make sure your water isn't hitting the sand directly. I always make sure the water is hitting a rock so it's not disturbing the sand. My favorite plants to use are low light plants as they're easier to maintain. Java ferns should be placed in between the rocks and not planted directly into the substrate. Let's add our filter before we cycle the tank. This is an external canister filter and it's my personal favorite for any type of fish tank. Don't forget to check that water temperature. Remember, axolotls require cooler temps. This tank took about three weeks to cycle and Lucy is finally ready for her new home. It looks like she's really loving her tank. I can't wait to see her sleep in her new cave. Thanks for watching. This is Lucy, my axolotl, and this is an axolotl agility course. It's my attempt to get Lucy moving while stimulating her brain activity. She will need to pass through what is basically a three-part Ninja Warrior obstacle course. And at the end, she will be rewarded with her favorite snack, an earthworm. Why did I choose an earthworm? Over the course of her lifetime, I fed Lucy a variety of snacks. She eats specially formulated pellets daily, bloodworms every few days, and earthworms on special occasions. Earthworms have quickly become her absolute favorite snack. This is a custom-made acrylic donut tank. As you can see, there's a hollow core in the center. This will allow us to watch Lucy as she makes her way through the course. The first challenge is to glide through this tunnel. The change in lighting should help to stimulate Lucy's brain and bring her one step closer to her snack. If you know Lucy, you know she loves a tunnel or cave. I can't see this one posing any issues for her. I used a fish safe basket, silicone, and these slate rocks to piece it together. Let's add it to our tank and continue laying the course. Next up, we have this rope ladder. Now this may look easy, but this ladder is quite buoyant and will be a challenge to pass over. Axolotls have an amazing sense of touch, so these natural dowels will help Lucy on her ascent. Lucy's balance will definitely be put to the test. Finally, we have the Great Wall of the Lucky Bamboo. I've used this plant with Lucy before and she loves it. I wonder if her familiarity with these will help her during this challenge. These stalks are in a linear formation and create a small opening that Lucy must get through to complete the course. To lay the course, I started with white sand. I love using white sand in my aquariums because it gives the tank a clean, crisp look. Did you know that axolotls are compatible with sand? When they're longer than four inches, they can pass sand without impaction. Let's fill up the tank and finish adding in our obstacles. These aquatic plants will give our agility course a more natural look while also helping to filter and remove nitrates from the water. 
They will also provide some coverage for Lucy in the tank. This large piece of series stone will act as our starting point for Lucy. We will place her prize directly on the other side of this wall. Let's add our filter before cycling the tank. This process typically takes between two to four weeks and helps to establish beneficial bacteria. I was able to speed up this process by using some of Lucy's established filter media. It's finally time to add Lucy to the tank. She's been patiently waiting to take on the course. Look, here she goes. She's at the starting point and headed for the first obstacle. As I expected, this one wasn't too difficult for her. It's what's to come that will be the most challenging. To help motivate her for obstacle number two, I placed one of her pellets at the peak of the bridge. She made her way up the bridge and completely missed the snack. She's on her way to the final obstacle. It took her no time at all to squeeze past the great wall of the lucky bamboo. In the end, I helped her out with her worm. She worked so hard today. Even though it took her three hours to complete the course, I'm so proud of her. Thanks for watching.